You want a fucking disclaimer? There is no fucking disclaimer. I'm fucking pissed off and I'll say whatever I feel like fucking saying. No censorship or limitations. Sometimes there'll be guests on my show, other times this is going to be me in a bad mood. My topics on this episode are not my topics on every episode. Don't be fucking silly. My mood fucking varies. You guys are probably wondering, what the fuck is he doing in a fucking bathtub? Like, seriously, we're on YouTube, like, trying to find good fucking videos. And this asshole is naked in a fucking bathtub. And, I mean, what the fuck is up with that? But I'm gonna explain to you what the fuck is up with that. Um, I'm in a bathtub because I was taking a fucking bath. And I was getting a little depressed because not only is there no soap, but I have no salt, I have no fucking bubbles, I have no no rubber ducky, I have none of these luxury items, and I was getting a little depressed. I was like, what the fuck is up with this fucking life I'm living? I mean, I'm, I can't even enjoy a bathtub because I don't have bubbles. I mean, and then I started thinking, uh, but isn't life greater than these things? Isn't there a bigger meaning of life than fucking bubbles and salt? And, you know, I mean, isn't it, I mean, why are we even alive? Why do we even live, you know? Is it because of these, these items? And, um, and then, I mean, look, look, look at the American dream. Is the American dream uh, connected with the meaning of life? Is the meaning of life to be uh, living the American dream? What is the American dream? The American dream is, uh, so you're a little kid and you are forced to go to school. In school, you learn to um, you do have a job. You learn to, uh, to to get a career in life. You know, you take classes like economics, history, mathematics, and and uh, biology, all these things to uh, to kind of get better uh, uh, in the real world, right? And then in the real world, you go to college, you go to university, you get fucking big careers in fucking uh, you know in these big uh, classes. And then and then after after school, you get a job, you get a career, you start making fucking money. Then you fall in love, you get a wife, you you marry her, you get this really big house, you get a fucking car, and then you guys have fucking babies, you guys have sex like crazy, you guys have so many little babies, babies, babies. And then what you guys do with the baby? You guys put the babies in fucking taxidos. And you guys send the babies to school. And then what the fuck are babies? To the babies go to school. They learn how to be adults. And then when they're adults, they, go, uh, they, 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 they get jobs. They get a fucking another wife. And then they have more babies and more babies and more babies. And it's like this fucking circle of life. And there's no way to get the fuck out of this circle of life. Unless you, put, you, you decide to go live in a fucking forest with monkeys. Now... Now, is this really what the meaning of life is? Now, I think, it, I mean, in a sense it is because you can argue that the meaning of life is to reproduce and have babies because that's what animals do. We're animals and we need to, um, our species needs to live on. So we're here to uh, kind of find the best gene pools, right? But then, um, I mean, is that really what, uh, what we're here for? Um, okay, you know, guys, I, well, what's this clip? It's a small clip of Woody Allen. Woody Allen uh, said this is the meaning of life. It's based on, on, on a movie he made, a recent movie. Oh, it's just what? It's like a minute long. It's just what? It's just what? I do feel that it's a grim, painful, nightmarish, meaningless experience, <laughs> uh, and that the only way that you can be happy is if you tell yourself some lies and deceive yourself, and, and I'm not the first person to say this or the, the most articulate person on it. It was said by, by Nietzsche, it was said by Freud, it was said by Eugene O'Neill. One must have uh, one's delusions to live. If you look at life too honestly and clearly, uh, life does become unbearable because it's a pretty grim enterprise, you will admit. You know, but it's, it's it's true that you know everybody's miserable. You know, I mean, we are we are one of those uh, species that we're always miserable about something. If we're poor, you know, like now I have no salt, I have no no bubbles. I'm miserable because I have no fucking bubbles, and I'm trying to get bad, and I'm like. Oh my God! There's no fucking bubbles. How the fuck am I gonna get fucking bad? And that's you know, it's like it frustrates me. But then if I was Jewish, I would be miserable too. Look at all these fucking celebrities that are always taking drugs or junkies and and they're taking too much alcohol and they're alcoholics and they're all miserable and and they're not happy at all with fame and they they hate uh, you know all these different uh, paparazzi's and all these different things. They are so miserable. 
And a great example of, of this is there was a guy that was a, a millionaire. He had $3 million on his bank account. He gave everything away to poor people. Every day. Every fucking piece of cent. Every cent he gave away to fucking poor people. He gave everything away. He was left with nothing. And he was a fucking millionaire. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna tell you guys about the, the four noble truths of Buddhism. So the Buddhism have these four no, uh, noble truths that... Uh, I find it very interesting. The Buddhists are not very, they're not embarrassed to admit that the world is a piece of shit, and they are actually very openly say the, for, for example, the first rule is, there is suffering, suffering is common to all. They admit that we all suffer, and uh, we shouldn't be ashamed to admit that we suffer. So everybody suffers in the fucking world, that's the first rule. Uh, second, cause of suffering, we are the cause of our suffering. So they're saying we, we are the reason that we're, we're suffering, I mean, it's like, this mentality, I mean, why am I mad that there's no fucking bubbles in my fucking bath? I shouldn't be fucking mad because I'm in a fucking bathtub and the water is not that bad and I'm having a good time in a bathtub. I mean, how many people have a fucking bathtub anyways, you know? I should be happy. Why do I need bubbles? This is stupid. I, I, bubbles are not going to help my day. It's not going to make me feel any better. So it's just, I mean, you know, it's just very stupid. I mean, I'm the one who's giving myself these ideas, these expectations that I don't really need. I mean, I'm just giving myself more, more miserable. And then and the third rule the third is uh, end of suffering, stop doing what causes suffering. So it says we should st stop doing the things that make us suffer. So for example, complaining that there's no bubbles. I shouldn't fucking complain there's no bubbles. I should not complain that there's no bubbles. I don't fucking give a shit if there's no fucking bubbles. Because I'm enjoying the fucking bath. Look at how nice this fucking water is. I'm fucking enjoying it. It's fucking water. There's no bubbles, but fuck it. It's fucking amazing. And I'm having a fucking good time here. And then the fourth uh, noble truth is path to end suffering. Everyone can be enlightened. So this is pretty much saying divine nirvana. You have to find the path that makes you suffer. So to me, if I really want to enjoy myself, I have to really, I have to really strip around this water, really embrace the water in my face and in my body. I have to really embrace this water spiritually. I have to really be one with the water. Don't be fucking shy. Really be one with it. You know and. So, we have all these little, you know, I mean, there's this greater idea, you know, philosophy, this meaning of life idea. And, um, but instead of really thinking about these questions and these issues and, and things that actually matter, I mean, what do we do? I mean, for example, I live in Montreal, Quebec, and you know the French people here, you know, we're not allowed to say the word pasta anymore, pasta, the word pasta is banned from the restaurants because it's an Italian word, and uh, the French people here are so cleany about the fucking language that anything that is in France is illegal, so if you have a store that has a word, a word that's in English, you have to have something um, twice as big in French. Mm. You know, and there's really, there isn't a very good thing to, to take care of. I mean, uh, like, okay, for example, remember last time I said we were going to talk about McDonald's? Well, we're talking about McDonald's right fucking now. People that love it and then they hate it, you know? I mean, you hate McDonald's, but you still go to McDonald's. It's like one of those places. Um, you know, and, and, and which is really, really stupid. I'm going to get back at McDonald's in a minute. Um, you know, Burger King sells horse meat. They actually sell horse meat. Uh, and this is, um, it's a lie. I mean, they sell meat. I mean, they, they, they pretend that they sell like cow meat and all these other meats, but instead they actually sell horse meat so it, because like, because it's cheaper. Um, and it's funny because I said this on Facebook, you know, that Burger King sells horse meat. And the comments I got were uh, healthy meat, tasty meat. I mean, people are actually happy that they sell horse meat. So it's, I don't know, it blows my head. I thought people would be pissed off or cursed out, you know, because they're in a way being lied to. But in another way, people like being lied to, so I guess it's okay. Um, you know, and, and another funny thing is that, uh, and this is the reason why I don't like McDonald's or Poké King, going to these fast food places. You know, there's actually, like, there's enough food in this planet to feed all the homeless people, all the poor people starving in Africa, all over the fucking world, in India, all the poor people that look like they're skeletons, we have enough food to give to them, but we are not. You know why? Because we prefer to give these, 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 these grains, grains and wheat. We prefer to give grains and wheat 
to cattle and to cows and to these pigs and animals to get them big and fat and healthy so we can eat them. You know that it's very possible that the cure for cancer is in there? You know, there's a lot of undiscovered plants and animals in the rainforest. We only discover like maybe 10 to 5% of the rainforest. There's so much of the rainforest that we don't even fucking know. You know how much mysteries we can discover there? Maybe other species of humans, other species of other animals, plants, uh, you know, cures. So many fucking cures, man. Like, oh my god, and we're destroying it because of McDonald's and Burger King because you guys can have your fucking burgers. Okay, now we're gonna go to the funny Facebook statuses because I know all of you love this fucking segment. Look at you guys all happy about this segment. Oh, I wanna know about Facebook statuses. <laughs> okay, well, the first one we're gonna read today is Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream does, does make it all better. <laughs> Ben and Cherish cookie dough ice cream does make it all better. <laughs> fucking stupid fucking bits! <laughs> fucking people. Um, I can't describe what I want to do to you tonight. Oh, baby. When you come to me, I'll make it so you never leave. Oh my god, these fucking people. You make me sick. Ow, you speak to a girl that is so good to you. You pathetic. Low life. I hope you get your karma back to you. Oh my god. Like that person really gives a say what that bitch has to say. Really. <laughs> oh, and then, and then, and then there was a comment. Oh boy, who are you talking about? Text me. Oh my god. Well, at least they're being very, um, what's the I mean, they're there for them, at least, you know? Facebook friends are the best type of friends you can ever find. I'm telling her, you can't go wrong with Facebook friends. Uh, oh, and this is the last one. Saving best for last. Today is going to be fun. While working is the downside of the day, I'll be watching Fear Factor all day long. Hot at Plus 52. Wow, wow, watching Fear Factor all day long. That sounds fucking amazing. I wish I could watch Fear Factor all day long. Wow, I'm missing out on that one big time. Fuck, these people are fucking amazing. <laughs> okay, guys, I think I'm done for today. So I, th I think the point of this episode is to talk about the meaning of life. It's for you guys to think about, okay? So what is the meaning of life for you guys? Is it uh, the American dream? Is that what we really should be doing? You know, taking care of our future, our name. You know, gaining a strong name, a family, children to pass on our name, the genes. Is that the meaning of life? Or is the meaning of life uh, m maybe m more spiritual, like maybe Buddhism, maybe finding Nirvana, finding inner peace with yourself? So even if you if your name doesn't get, you know, followed, even if your name doesn't get a fucking future, it's finding that inner peace within yourself that counts. If you find that inner peace, then your life has meaning. If, if you don't, then it don't. Or is it, you know, Woody Allen's idea, ideology that life is very miserable and there's no point. And the point of life is for us to find the point of life. So he, 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 he makes it obvious that it's not to, um, to, you know, to admit that, oh, there's a God, oh, there's in heaven and hell, oh, magic exists, oh, no, it's not to do that, but to admit that none of that exists, and to, um, to, to still think, you know, if, knowing that none of that exists, should I still live, you know, and if I should still live, why, and then to kind of, but that's a little bit like Buddhism too, right? Finding the inner you, you know? Because Woody Allen's uh, ideology in the end of the day is finding the inner you, finding the meaning of life for you. And then you sell that and other people take it or they leave it, you know, kind of thing. Um, so, you know, think about this, the meaning of life, you know? Think about the life you're living. Uh, you know, are you happy with what you're taking at school, with your, with your program? Is your program making you miserable? Is your program making you happy? Uh, you know, are you happy with the job you have? Are you happy with, with the life you have? If you could, if you could go back, would you? Would you change anything? Or are you happy with what you fucking have? That's that's the point of this episode. Peace out.